Mayor Adams has big plans for outdoor dining, including tearing down abandoned sheds and then telling some restaurants to update their structures, all in the hopes of extending the COVID era restaurant lifeline. But the mayor also facing critics who say those booths are causing rat problems, making it more difficult to find parking and also make deliveries. Joining us tonight is outdoor dining supporter, executive director of New York City's Hospitality Alliance, Andrew Ridgey. Good to have you with us, Andrew. Great to be here. Okay, so can we talk about these different modifications and what the mayor is talking about if we're going to have the outdoor sheds? Absolutely. For so I prefer calling them streeteries or outdoor dining cabanas. Okay. <laughs> but what I would say is we have to put this in context. You know, yeah. outdoor dining saved thousands of small businesses, about right. 100,000 jobs it's responsible for saving. But this was a temporary emergency program. Now, mm -hmm. two and a half plus years into the pandemic, it's time to standardize and make more sustainable the outdoor dining program. Move from what we had that evolved in response to a crisis and make it more updated, standardized, sustainable. So when people say they bring up the rat problem, they bring up that the homeless will kind of find shelter there, that it's a, that it's just a, a collector of trash, it's unsightly, parking's an issue, the whole thing. I mean, you have to say you see their point. Yeah, listen, I'm a New Yorker. Restaurants don't want gross stuff all over the streets. I mean, the reality is, is a good thing what the mayor and the city is doing. We need to remove these outdoor dining structures that have been abandoned. No mm -hmm. one wants them there. They should have come down a long time ago. If there's other ones that are dilapidated, aren't up to code, by all means, we need to either remove them or upgrade them. But other issues can be addressed. You know, people aren't sleeping in all of them. Actually, if you walk around the streets, people are constantly eating in them. Uh, so mm -hmm. there are ways to address what the concerns are, and there are legitimate concerns, but in response, it shouldn't be just scrap the whole program, which overall has been so successful. I remember um, as we're getting ready to move into the fall. I mean, I don't we don't want to talk about it, but soon be summer's going to be up. Know. And I remember, you know, the different um, mechanisms to stay warm, the heaters and all that. They're not allowed this time around, right? So you can use electric heaters, which some restaurants have, but the propane heaters, which everyone really liked that help you stay extra warm, are actually not long, no longer permitted. Okay, so then you have to depend on those little bubbles that were made and, and that kind of thing. There's other stuff, but we also have to think about this. You know, indoor dining is open. Let's hope we never get back to a place where COVID is just ravaging the city like it did. So I think outdoor dining eventually will transition back into a more seasonal program. You mm -hmm. know, people are only dining outdoors in the middle of the winter because they couldn't dine indoors. If we just look at the landscape right now, post pandemic, you know, even with a BA4 and the BA5, are we on the rebound in this city? You know, New York City's restaurants and bars are still about 50,000 jobs short compared to pre-pandemic employment levels. So many of our local businesses have pandemic debt. And while people are dining out, there's still a lot of challenges mm -hmm. and we need to be cautiously optimistic because we know what happened. We saw Delta, we saw Omicron. Hopefully we never go back there, but we are not out from the other side of this crisis. Yeah, because I think about Broadway reopening all the restaurants that were so dependent upon the shows, the hotel community, all, you know, tourism, all these things that I know you're so connected and intertwined with. Yeah, it's all part of the economic and the social ecosystem. And with that, some people just are still comfortable only dining outdoors. So, you know, listen, outdoor dining is so important. Sidewalks, roadways, sidewalks can go back to what they used to look like before the pandemic. And now we have this great opportunity to rebuild the roadway dining in a way that's beautiful, that can address the concerns and we can all enjoy. Can you still take drinks to go? You can do drinks to go. <laughs> you can do drinks to go. My priority. No. <laughs> yes, take out delivery. You know, whatever you can do to support the businesses, we got to do it. All right, Andrew Ritchie joining us tonight. Good to have you on. Thanks, Lori. Uh,